Hello everyone, greetings from PayTap's technical support team. In this series, you are going to learn everything you need to integrate PayTap Shopify plugin into your Shopify store. In this video, we are going to walk you through the next four steps of the integration manual. Actually, all of these four steps are handled by the plugin and don't require any additional interference from your side. We are just going to walk through the business aspect of these steps. Now let's go to step 3 of the integration manual. Before start, please note that you can find the full documentation for this part inside Paytab's documentation portal under the article called the Shopify plugin integration manual. So, normally step 3 clarify the steps you need to initiate the payment. But here, the plugin is responsible for handling the part for you. By just installing and activating the plugin as clarified in step 1, any performed order through your store will automatically initiate the payment for PayTaps and you will be able to monitor it from your dashboard. Please note that we highly recommend for you to learn more about Shopify default order workflow as PayTaps plugins adopts this workflow. So finally, the payment will be initiated by following the usual Shopify ordering process. Customers add products to their cart, then after that they continue to check out, then they provide their billing and shipping details, and they will proceed to choose PayTap's payment method, and will be redirected to PayTap's payment page and will be asked to provide their car details, and once the car details is validated, the order will be placed in your store dashboard and also an associated transaction will be created in your PayTaps merchant dashboard. Now we can go to step 4 of the integration manual which is accepting the payment. Here we are going to accept the payment we initiated in step 3 and likewise our plugin handle this part for you so this step doesn't require any interference from your side. But let's take a look at this step from the business aspect. Accepting any payments go through two phases. The first one which is handling the payment type whether it's sale, auth or refund. And you can see that this phase has already been handled in step 2 where we configured the integration method. As for the refund payment type it will be clarified in step 7. The second phase of accepting the payment deals with handling the customer card detail. This phase also is automatically handled by the plugin and the third step of the integration manual. In addition, note that in our plugins we follow our mechanism called hosted payment page which implies that payments will be hosted, handled and performed within our own server. However, if you are looking for a customized payment page that has the same look and feel as your website or your store. Just after customizing your PayTabs payment page UI to simulate your own UI design. Other types of integration mechanism such as managed form and own form is not supported in this plugin. Now that we understand how accepting the payment works, we can go to step 5 of the integration manual which is handling the payment response. Actually, the same case for the last two steps goes with this step. It doesn't require any interference from your side because the plugin handled this part for you. But let us understand how this works. Since the Shopify plugin follows our hosted payment page mechanism as clarified in the last step, it relies on the return and callback to handle the payment response. You can read more about return and callback and the other ways of receiving the response in our solution article what are the five ways of receiving transaction response. Now that we understand how handling the payment response work we can move forward to step 6 of the integration manual which is handling the post payment responses or notifications. Actually, PayTap's plugins don't support any customized call packs or IPNs. It only manages the ones configured by the PayTap's team internally. Other notification responses cannot be handled as Shopify Store is closed source platform. 
Finally, to know about IPNs, you can read our solution article, How to Configure Instant Payment Notification or IPNs. Now that we understand step 6, we can move forward to step 7, which is managing your transactions.